Everybody, thank you for coming here today. We are so excited to finally have the groundbreaking of CVS on Main Street in Springfield. This project would have never happened without MGM Springfield. I think the CVS people will tell you that. And obviously MGM Springfield would not have happened without Kevin Kennedy and the leadership of the great mayor. So thank you very much for being here. Uh, Davenport Properties have been a part of this city since 1992. Uh, but this is truly one of our most exciting projects to be involved in a piece of land that was destroyed by a tornado has always been a big part of the South End and we're hoping that this small component will be a really beginning until bringing back the South End again. And with that, I'd like to introduce the mayor. Thanks, Chuck. Appreciate it. Thank you. Dominic Sarno. Thank you. Uh, to Chuck Irving and Davenport Properties, which is, again, subsidiary of uh, MGM, I want to thank you for your continued belief and investment here in the city of Springfield and your creativity. I want to also say to CVS officials, Rob, and I know you're here, that you, Mr. Kennedy, my chief development officer, indicated to me you worked very closely uh, with the city as far as the uh, urban scape design and the Main Street, respecting the Main Street uh, area, and we deeply appreciate that. We're on the eve of the eighth anniversary of the devastating EF3 tornado, which occurred June 1st, uh, 2011. And uh, four o'clock, I'll be at four o'clock mass at Our Lady of Mont Carmel Church, as I usually am, and Father White uh, will chime those bells and we'll have a moment of silence. But when you look upon how bigger and better and stronger that we have come back here. Now with CVS, obviously with MGM. Wahlburgers will be going up very shortly. I just saw their TV show the other day, so who knows, we'll make uh, TV here in the city of Springfield. But I know to the South End uh, residents, and Shane Millett is here uh, representing Vice President of South End Citizens Council, who will be speaking, uh, they're overjoyed, overjoyed having this type of facility down here in uh, the heart of the South End area. I'm also joined again, as I stated, uh, by my Chief Development Officer, Kevin Kennedy. He and our team have just done a wonderful job, $4.1 billion in economic development, uh, which has been completed or ongoing here in the city of Springfield. And I've had great partners on the state level uh, with our delegation, uh, with uh, State Representative Buddy Williams will be saying a few words. And uh, my other friend and my state representative, uh, Celsa Economics, Carlos Gonzalez, who represents uh, this area, and he's all about business and uh, jobs. So uh, with that, I'm going to first get the neighborhood perspective before I turn it back over to Chuck Irving from Shane Millette. Uh, again, he is representing the uh, South End Citizens Council. Leo Florian obviously sends his regrets to President. He's worked very close with us. His mom an icon in the South End area, Angie, Angie Florian, uh, unfortunately passed away a few days ago, and our thoughts and prayers go out uh, to he and his family. Uh, she was iconic down here in the, our, our South End area. So with that, let me turn it over to uh, Shane Millette uh, from Neighborhood Council perspective, and then we'll go to uh, Representative Carlos Gonzalez and Representative Bud Williams, and I'll turn it back. Uh, Kevin doesn't want to say anything, so I'll turn it back over to Chuck Irving. Shane? Thank you, Mayor Sano. Thank you, Mayor Sano. Thank you, Davenport Companies and CVS. Um, our President Leo Sano, um, Leo Florian, could not be here today, and we, he apologizes. But uh, he wanted to let everybody know that this has been a long time waiting for a facility like CVS to come into our neighborhood because our residents have been either going to State Street, Belmont Ave, or downtown, which they close very early. And it's been a long time needed for this kind of facility and welcome to the neighborhood and, and we wish you very much very much success thank you very thank much you, nice job. Thank you. Representative Gonzalez. Thank, you. thank you mayor uh thank what a you. shiny beautiful day in the city of springfield look at the sun's coming out better than that must be all the construction projects that davenport is bringing <laughs> and mr prieto also uh, the latin connection of the davenport uh, uh construction but uh, the leadership of the mayor can't be, uh, can't be unnoticed. This city's in the right direction. It's a beacon, it's a shining star, and wherever I go throughout the state of Massachusetts, everybody's talking about the great success of the uh, city of Springfield. And it's through the hard work of the team,
Kevin Kennedy and many others in the city of Springfield, but it's that captain that's leading the charge as the mayor of the city of Springfield. And uh, we're going to keep pushing for this captain to stay on board and keep up the great work here in the city of Springfield, but also here in the South End because it's not only about MGM, it's about CVS, it's about building a brand new uh, South End uh, uh, program over here in the South End area rebuilding the, the projects over here and the great leadership of the community organizations that are continuing to build up on the quality of life for all our residents. So it's a great uh, uh, partnership and I'm glad to be a part of, my, uh, part of this team. Also my colleague, uh, Buddy Williams, also representing the city of Springfield. Buddy Williams. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the thanks, uh, thanks, Carlos, to the Davenport, MGM, congratulations. Uh, almost eight years ago, we stood here, very solemn, very sad, and didn't know what to do. Uh, Four billion dollars later, uh, the renaissance continues. Uh, I really want to, to Kevin Kennedy, your leadership, economic czar. I call him the Bill Belichick of economics and uh, <laughs> Springfield, and uh, we got Mayor Sarno as the uh, Tom Brady, I guess, of uh, economic development. But congratulations, great day for the South End, and we just want to to uh, Mrs. Florian, I want a moment of silence for her uh, great foundation. I cut my teeth with her, <laughs> with the mayor and the South End Council. Uh, great leadership, but uh, the renaissance continues. So uh, congratulations and let's keep it up. And we got a couple more great announcements to be coming in the very near future. Thank you. Thanks, Nancy Creed is here, the president of our Springfield Chamber. Appreciate that. Another business to add yeah. to the chamber there. And now is Johnny Carson. He back to Chuck. Here's Chuck. Thank you. Um, I'm pleased to present Robin Peterson. She is a, uh, she's somebody who's very quiet, but when you get to know her, she humbles you. She's a mom. She's a senior executive at CVS. She grew up in West Springfield. And on the weekend, she serves for the armed forces. She's an amazing person. And when we told her that we wanted to do this project, she said, I grew up around there. She said, I know this area. I see what's going on with Springfield, and I want to help you. So with that, I'll give you Robin. All right, Robin. Thank you. Thank you. We're very excited to be here today with Mayor Sarno to celebrate the groundbreaking of a new CVS pharmacy at the corner of Maine and Union. The construction of this CVS completes a development of, of our beloved Davenport Square, which was destroyed in Springfield's 2011 tornado. It wouldn't have been possible without Chuck Irving and Davenport Fund, who acquired the devastated lot in 2016 and initiated redevelopment with medical office space, daycare, apartments, and now this new store. Across the street from MGM Springfield, and next to new restaurants and more, this new CVS pharmacy truly plans to add to the revitalization of the community, bringing residents to a strong sense of pride, ownership, and investment in the community after the devastating tornado. CVS Pharmacy is so delighted to be part of this renewal, and our involvement is, a, is an example of one of the ways we are working to build healthier communities here in Springfield and around the country. As a leading healthcare company, we like to say health starts in the community, in our homes, in our schools, workplaces, and neighborhoods like Springfield. After such a devastating loss in 2011, this new store is a way to inspire, uplift, and unite Springfield, the community, and contribute to the social health and vibrancy of the city of Springfield. Congratulations to everyone involved, and I wish our, our store manager, Suzanne, and our assistant store manager, Mary, the best of luck, and we're very excited about um, the new store in Springfield, which will be opening in approximately November of this year. If the weather cooperates, it could open earlier. Thank you. Thank you for your service to our company. And that wraps it up. Once again, thank you to the leadership of Springfield. This has been a great opportunity for us, and we hope to do more. One, <laughs> two, three. Hey. This is what we call necessity shopping. Unlike all the really kind of cool and fun stuff that MGM brings to the street, this brings us things that the residents of this neighborhood need. And so in my mind, it's something that was created by MGM because CVS wouldn't have come here without MGM, but it's for the South End neighborhood. And I hope the neighborhood's going to be happy and excited about it.